Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So the Redmi Note 10 5G is launched today, 27th of May. Let me clear a few things up. There are three variations, 4 gig and 64, 4 gig and 128 gig, and 6 gig and 128 gig. And prices start from 199. So if you're on a budget, this could be the perfect smartphone for you. Designed by Redmi. And there she is. So we have the MediaTek Dimensity 700, a seven nanometer chip. And this is a 5G smartphone. So it's gonna be one of the most affordable uh, 5G smartphones out there, apart from, I believe the Poco M3 Pro. 6.5 inch LCD panel at 90 Hertz, 48 megapixel triple camera and a 5,000 milliamp battery. Feels quite light. And in the box, we get a Type-C charging cable and a charging block. This is 18 watt fast charging. Okay, let's take the wrapper off. And here we go. So yes, wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. That is st stunning. Really, really like that. So this is a plastic back, but they've absolutely nailed this. Absolutely nailed it. I'm using the Redmi Note 10 Pro. It's got that same sort of effect but this is a glass back. That's really nice. It doesn't feel cheap, it's a plastic frame, plastic back, but I'll tell you what, it doesn't feel cheap at all. That is absolutely gorgeous, I love it. That nice little camera bump there as well, 48 megapixel main sensor. There's no ultra wide on this though, it's slightly disappointing. 5G smartphone, let's have a look at the bottom. USB Type-C, we have a loudspeaker there as well, and a microphone cutout as well at the bottom. We have a 3.5 mm socket for your headphones and earphones. That is a great plus. They've managed to cram that in into this budget device, budget 5G device. IR blaster there as well at the top. Okay, along this side, we have the power button and volume rocker, and I believe the fingerprint sensor is integrated into there as well. Uh, I really like the look of that design. It's slightly different to what the Redmi Note 10 Pro looks like, the way uh, the button design. But that looks really, really nice. So in terms of the, the SIM tray, you can have two nano SIMs in there, or you can have a nano SIM and a micro SD card. So storage is expandable. So in terms of thickness, it's 8.9 mil thick, and it weighs 190 grams, 5G. Android 11, MIUI 12, as with all these jammy devices lately. So you can see the LCD panel there. You can tell it's an LCD as well, because the slight sort of color shift at different angles and stuff. But I'm gonna quickly set this up and I'll be back. I could look at that back all day, but I've set it up. Set the fingerprint sensor up as well. Let's test this briefly. So it's got the Dimensity 700 5G chip. That doesn't seem too bad. We have, let's back the screen brightness up. So it's, they're gonna lack a little bit in screen brightness on this. Uh, this does have 90 Hertz refresh rate. It is adaptive as well. In terms of software, it's MIUI 12. I've selected to have the app drawer. You can have the classic uh, page scrolling pages, but I'll just like the app drawer. I've noticed as well. There's a few sort of like Block puzzle guardian dust settle bubble shooters. So there's a few sort of bits of bloatware in terms of games on there Other than that it's pretty standard MIUI apps. So it's a 1080p panel This is protected with a Gorilla Glass 3 as well. So it's not a new variant of Gorilla Glass 
but there's still some protection. It does come installed with a screen protector as well. Let's have a little test of the speakers. Okay, so on the Redmi Note 5G, there is only one speaker at the bottom, so one far and down, and this is what it sounds like. Full volume. Yeah, so there's only one loudspeaker, but I think the sound quality on there is pretty decent. It's not too high or tinny that we do get in some of these you know, cheaper devices. Um, I don't think the sound quality is actually that bad at all. It's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to take a closer look at this IPS LCD panel, 1080p. It is 90 hertz as well, and it's adaptive, and it looks nice. Looks really nice. This is 4K content, but it's actually playing back at 1080p, 60 frames per second. And in terms of nits, this goes all the way up to 400 nits, so not the brightest of displays. But I don't think you can argue with how that looks. Looks nice. Okay, let's jump into the video capabilities. This can shoot up to 1080p, 30 frames per second with stabilization. Take a look at this footage. Mm -hmm. So this is 1080p, 30, and we have Rachel Hill modeling. So. She wanted to be the model. <laughs> no, I didn't. This. We have stabilization as well, so let's have a little walk. Stabilization should work quite right. Let's have a look at the direct sunlight. Ouch. What do you think to the back of this phone, Rachel? Does it look nice? It just looks like a phone. <laughs> Fair enough. Mm. Now let's go in. There we go. That looks really steady. So this is the max you can get 1080p30 on this. It is a budget device from Xiaomi. There we go. And then on the front, exactly the same, 1080p, 30 frames per second. Have a look at this. So on the front facing camera, 1080p, 30 frames per second. That's the maximum recording setting. We have stabilization on as well. So it's a little bit darker in here, obviously. A little bit soft. Color accuracy isn't bad. Look a little bit washed out. Right near a window. Now let's go and have a quick look outside see what it looks like in really bright conditions. Whoops. Whoa. Wow, yeah. That's really bright. I think both the front and the back seem to produce acceptable video quality with good stabilization as well. Front facing camera I thought on my face made me look a little bit gray, a little bit washed out, but on the whole, good video capabilities. So in terms of camera, there are three lenses, a 48 megapixel main, two megapixel macro, and a two megapixel depth sensor. Nothing too exciting, uh, but this is a 48 megapixel photo. You have to select it manually as one of the settings in order to shoot that. Now go and check out portrait mode on the Redmi Note 5G. Look at that, I think that's done a splendid job. Everything on there looks pretty perfect. Color accuracy, it's nice and sharp. There's a nice amount of detail in there. But obviously in lower light conditions, then I'm expecting a little bit of softness. This is the selfie cam indoors, portrait mode. Again, a good job, but again, my face slightly washed out, a little bit grayish. And that is the normal sensor. So no portrait, no 48 megapixel. In fact, let's have a look at the information details. So it's 2992 times 4,000 pixels, 3.51 megabytes, and the resolution works out at 12 megapixel. 
So the main sensor will be 12 megapixel unless obviously you choose the main 48 megapixel sensor. So I don't think the camera setup is too bad on here. This is again, this is the main 48 megapixel one. Uh, resolution, yeah, 800 by 8,000 by 6,000 pixels. And that is 48 megapixel resolution. So yeah, that was the camera setup. So starting from 199, an affordable budget Redmi device. Design and build quality is outstanding for a device of this price. That first impression is an initial standout thing for me, definitely uh, with this. Links to this will be in the description as well. Please check out the Me community as well in the description. A uh, fantastic forum in there with help and support with um, Xiaomi devices. So if you've enjoyed this content and want to see more unboxings and smartphone reviews, then please do consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.